Hey guys, I'm Blake Perrault from ABC.com's daily show Start Now. We're outside the Foley stage on the studio lot where they film Desperate Housewives. Now today we're very lucky to be meeting up with Brenda Strong, who plays Mary Alice on the show, and heading to an ADR session with her. And a huge family crisis had begun. Now ADR means automated dialogue replacement for you rookies. All right, I'm also going to bring my new Sprint Instinct phone to take pictures of the journey, and I'll email them to you. Let's go meet up with Brenda. Hello there. Hi, Blake. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Good. You ready? So let's go inside. All right. It's right this way. So right down here is where all the magic happens. <laughs> Um, Mary Alice, the voice of, of Desperate Housewives, is recorded in this Foley stage. Someone in the family was having an affair with a married woman. And essentially, um, it's a large screen, a small screen, and a podium where all of my words are. This is my world where Mary Alice lives, and uh, my script, they have a very special mic for me so that um, I don't have spit sounds or pop sounds and it kind of sounds a little ethereal but also very present. There was a slight misunderstanding in the Scavo house that night. So when you listen to Mary Alice a lot of people have come up to me and said your, your voice is so soothing you know and a lot of that <clears throat> is the mic and how the mic reads me. But a lot of that is you. Well a little a little <laughs> teeny tiny bit. And a huge family crisis had begun. While I was getting a tour from Brenda, I used the Sprint Instinct phone to snap a couple of pictures, and it's really easy to use. There was a slight misunderstanding in the Scavo house that night. Whenever you hear three beeps, those are the beeps. It tells me when to start talking. There was a slight misunderstanding in the Scavo house that night. They irritate me. And I wish they'd stop. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, this is a little trick of the trade. Whenever your voice starts to sound a little not clear, you just take a slice of green apple and swallow it. And it just clears any kind of obstruction to the voice. Oh, one more little quirk is, is I never wear shoes. And for me, to be Mary Alice, there has to be a grounded effect because obviously she's so ethereal in so many other ways. <laughs> So um, right behind me, obviously I don't just do this in a vacuum, I have an amazing post-production team. Okay, look pretty guys. Who creates the sound of Mary Alice. And Rob Navardis is our post-production super. And he is super, he's amazing at mixing the voice elements. And he does it so fast we don't even know he's doing it. And Stephanie Hagen is our amazing post-production producer. And she supervises the entire post-mix so that what you see at the end is is really sweetened and balanced. And back behind is Jeff. He's the post-production mixer. He makes me sound good. He sets up the mic for me. And when you go back, if you see his board, it looks like a 747. I have a great deal of respect for them because they make it look really easy. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So that's how it's done. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, bye.